Hey guys, welcome back. I can't wait to run a bingo vault today. They are quickly becoming one of my absolute favourite objectives, and they're definitely very tricky at times, but trying to work out the best lines to go after and having to adjust on the fly depending on what you find is a very fun puzzle. But before we do anything else, we need to repair our shield because it has 9 durability left, so we definitely do not want that to break on us. And then we need to make ourselves a crystal. And as promised, we're not going in completely unprepared this time. Instead, we're going to do a decent amount of modification to hopefully increase our odds. So first, we of course want to guarantee a bingo vault. Then I think guaranteeing the theme could be quite useful. And I think the honey cave may be a lush theme, which obviously has slimes and also has the relatively easy horde mobs, so I think that sounds like a good choice. And then we of course want some catalysts, and I think I'm just going to splash out and use some of our catalysts with no negative modifiers, because why not? There's absolutely no point in hoarding all this stuff, so let's just use it and have a bit of fun. And of course, it's still completely possible that we won't complete any lines, but I just want to give us a good chance of having a completion, and also a good chance of coming out of this with a lot of loot either way. And I think, with two times ornate, two times wealthy, two times living, two times gilded, and one times wooden, that's probably a good way to go about it. So I think this should be a lot of fun. And with all of that applied, I think it's time for us to just see what's on the card for today. Oh boy, what's it gonna ask for us? Hopefully nothing too difficult, but you never know with the bingo vaults. Okay, first line, discover an omega room, rapidly loot 10 wooden, multi-kill and silently loot ornate. Primitively kill assassins, flawlessly kill tanks, kill two champions, kill assassins, loot wooden, rapidly kill dwellers, rapidly loot living, flawlessly kill dwellers, mine voltors, rapidly kill assassins, activate three pylons, and flawlessly kill assassins. Ooh, okay. There's quite a lot of these that I think should be doable. Obviously, Omega Room is very hit and miss, and also we know of the existing issues with multi-kill. And champions, if we can find some dungeons, then that could be doable. But, ooh. I mean, flawlessly kill 10 assassins, as long as we get a slime, we might be able to do that along with rapidly. Activate three pylons and mine some voltors. If we find an ore room, that should be easy enough. And, ooh. Yeah, I think there's quite a lot of doable objectives here. Um, but I think if I leave it on this one for now, we can always swap focus depending on what we find. Oh, okay. I think this might be about to be a lot of fun. So let's just see how we do. We do have to try and find three pylons, but I feel like we normally would do that in a single vault. And hello there, my good sirs. Good of you to join us. Um, what did I need to do with tanks? I should probably have paid attention to that. Hi. Um, tanks, flawlessly kill. Is that the only thing I have to do? It is, but there's seven of them, Christ. And I don't have to do anything with coins, so let's just take these, because they are right here. And man, flawlessly kill seven tanks. We may have to collect quite a few of them together if we want to try and do that. Because otherwise that's a long time for me to go without taking any damage. And hello there, horde mobs. Good of you to join. And... Man, I have such bad memory. What did I need to do with horde mobs? <laughs> um... Oh, nothing. Okay, hi. And we needed to rapidly loot some wooden, but also just generally loot some wooden. So let's see if there's some around here. There is. Hi. I did not take all of you guys out, huh? 
right well there's not enough wooden chests to do the rapid so let's just take all of them hi Hi. Oh boy. Okay. Hi there, slimes. I need to do things with you, but when I find a large one, I think. Otherwise, that's going to be a bit of a slow process. Oops. What's up here? Hello. Oh my god, there are so many horde mobs everywhere. Ooh, rapidly loot six living. I think there's only five here, so that's not ideal. And there's not living over there. Okay, well, we'll just loot these. Thank you. Was rapidly kill assassins. I didn't even realize. Nice. Okay. I will take that. And flawlessly kill assassins. Perfect. So now for assassins, we only just need to kill a bunch of them. So we can definitely try and do that. Oh, and primitively, which I also completely didn't realise I was trying to do. I am so good at this game. Oh boy, okay. So, let's just keep going. We just need to kill a bunch of these guys. Oh my god, a baby with a giant, terrifying head. Hi there, slimes. Good to see you. This, I know I always say it, but my god, whenever we need to do something with assassins, it is always just so much easier if you have slimes in your vault. Need to kill a lot of them? Easy enough. Need to kill them flawlessly? Also, easy enough. I mean, we just killed an absolute ton of them in no time at all. So, I will most definitely take that, because that was very nice and relatively easy. So, we, for this line, just need to mine some vault ores and activate some pylons, and for the other line we need to flawlessly kill tanks and kill champions, or silently loot ornate and flawlessly kill dwellers. Okay, that has a lot of options for us to go down, so let's see what we can find here. If we can find a bunch of wooden chests, I would also be very happy with that. But, depends what we can find. Hello! I think I need to flawlessly kill you guys, but that's just quite difficult. And you're stuck? Fair enough. <laughs> What's over here? Oh, ornate chests. Uh, oh, we need to silently loot ornate? I think we're gonna have to need a uh, omega room or a dungeon to do that. Because otherwise, we are definitely gonna need to kill some things along the way, unfortunately. But. Hello! Rapidly kill dwellers. Wonderful. Um, and if I find two more without taking any damage, I can flawlessly kill them. Please don't take any damage, spider. Please. Yes! Flawlessly kill dwellers. Perfect. Okay, this is going pretty well. How are we doing for wooden chests? Not that many of them. Let's just loot them then. There's one, yes, down there. I always forget that one. 
and let's head up and let's just keep going now, if we could just find some pylons that would be very very useful right about now hello and how are we doing 18 minutes we are actually doing so well for how far we are through this vault and we haven't actually done that many of the chest related ones it's mostly been the different various ones to do with mobs which have nothing to do with the modifications we made so that's actually pretty good ah oh, honestly thought that i might be slightly cheating by giving myself this many modifiers but so far it's pretty much been down to our choice of vault beam which is very very useful how we got here one two three four five six okay mm. don't think we're gonna get that here either but we do need to just generally loot wooden chests so it's always worth going after them hi there I know I need to try and flawlessly kill you guys, but like, I need to try and find seven of you, and that's just not really on the cards right now. Unless everything in this room happens to be tanks, which it is of course not. So we will just live with that one. But man, if we can... Oh wait, one, two... It's quite a lot of them over here. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, if we can find that ornate dungeon and we can silently loot 10 ornates, then that is a straight up bingo, which would be awesome. But... I don't know. Ooh, I will take these vault ores though. Thanking you. That one POI had 13 out of 33. Christ, okay. Um, so how many do we actually have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We might only have like nine. We need ten, and we're not going to get them all in six seconds. But oh well. Let's see what you are. Impossible. Oh god, what do you have though? Living. Um. I do need to rapidly loot, but I don't think I'm going to do that for impossible. That's just asking a little bit much, I think. Hi there. If you had been anything other than impossible, I probably would have given that a go. But I don't really want to risk not being able to complete any of this just to try and complete that. Um, how are we doing? Ooh, maybe. Let's clear the mobs out from here so they don't give us a shock when we come over this way. There's a slight chance we might be able to do this, because there's quite a lot of wooden chests here. So let's try this. Although I'm probably not going to do it fast enough. No, definitely not fast enough. Fair enough. That one is definitely going to be tricky. We don't need anything from coins, so let's just keep moving. 14 minutes, okay. Come on. What have you got for me? Ooh, a pylon. Thank you. What are you? Potion recharge? Thank you very much. That's one out of the pylons. I honestly swear we would normally find more pylons than this, but we are not having the best of luck with them today. And how many living chests is here? Not six. Okay. Hello. Okay. Uh, 
Um, how do I get up? Is it over this way? Yes, it is. Chests? Oh, that's quite a lot. Ooh, this might actually be our chance to get all of the wooden chests. So that's quite a lot of them. Man, ten in six seconds is just so many. But if I can get these, and then if I can get these, yes. Oh. Rapidly loot wooden and loot wooden. Perfect. Okay. Oh, that was good. So if we can rapidly loot living or flawlessly kill tanks or silently loot or nakes, that would cover us. But we don't, I think. Whoops. Oh, there's a champion there. We do need to kill champions. Oh, why did you have to be a leech spider? That's just cruel and unusual punishment. Please die. Thank you. I don't think I want to deal with the rest of you, actually. Okay, we've killed one out of two champions. Perfect. And we don't need wooden chests for anything anymore, so let's just head on our way. Which is this way. Well, I should probably turn around in a second, because we've only got 11 minutes left. But don't need wooden chests. I really need to try and find a bunch of ornates. What are you for living? Difficulty normal for coins. I really don't need coins though. God, if you had been anything else, that would have been incredibly helpful. But as it is, uh, actually, let's turn around. We can slowly start making our way back. And hopefully... We might be able to do something. Ooh, that's a lot of living chests. We might be able to rapidly loot living there. Oh boy! There is just so many different objectives to try and keep in my head and as you can see I am not very good at it a lot of the time I get lost and confused on exactly what I have to do and what I haven't done but when you start narrowing down only needing like one or two different things it does get slightly easier but we just want to rapidly loot some water yes and we have a bingo line perfect so now, everything else is just a bonus. So, let's just see what we can do. Oh boy. I really don't think I'm ever going to get that tank one though. Because finding seven in basically a single room doesn't seem overly likely. But, hmm. Let's go to... Let's go back to this one, see if we can do it. If we can just find some pylons and an ore room, this should be relatively doable. It's just a little bit of luck. And on the plus side, we do have a guaranteed completion now, as long as we don't do something stupid like die. So that's pretty good. And I'm just going to steal some of these chests because I really want it. Oh, what are you? Anything interesting? Nope. Fair enough. Oh, and what are you? Also, right next to it. Nothing interesting. Okay. Excuse me. Um, hmm. This way, or let's take a quick look upstairs. 
coins and ornate. Got it, ornate. But we are definitely not going to get second. And it really is a shame we don't need anything with coins this time because we have found so many coin POIs. Like, that's possibly what we have found more than anything else. And it's just not any of our objectives, which is a huge shame, but also, that's fine. I'll just take some of those, and let's head out. Oh boy. And um, what's down here? More coins! Oh man, it is really just living up to that reputation. Coins absolutely everywhere. Hmm. Um, and you will have gilded, which we don't need. So let's keep going. Okay, Wutak special I see. I also don't need anything from here. And what about you? Oh! Well, I mean, I will grab some diamonds while I'm here. I won't pass that up, but also not quite what we need. Um, but that's fine. I'll just keep going. Oh wait, was that next to the homeroom? It was. Okay, let's go round the back. Although actually, we have a completion, so we don't need to stay by home. Because we will... Ow. Be able to get out, so that's fine. Let's just do some various bits of looting. See what we can do. What are you? Normal? And what do you have? More coins! Uh, fine. I will take your coins because you're normal so I can try and get the champion at the end. Because why not? I can't seem to find anything but hidden dungeons today. But I do also love coins, so. I can't really complain. Oh hi, you haven't finished for the spawning, had you? Hi there. I'm mostly just here for your champion. Uh, yes, you. Good to see you. Thank you. Ooh, and a guaranteed Omega Magnet. And we completed the Kill the Champions. That will do it for me. And then let's just steal some of these coins while we're right here. Alright, let's head back out. So we can keep looking. Hello. Don't mind me. Uh, anything down here? Nothing overly interesting. Okay. Oh, there are so many horde mobs. Um, okay. Let's just go this way. We don't have to stay by home. Ooh, a pylon. Nice. I will take that, and then I will also just keep going. We could find one more pylon in an ore room. That would be incredibly convenient. Probably too convenient, but you know. 
Or flawlessly killing tanks would be two lines, but I just don't think we can find that many tanks together. Oh boy. Three minutes. Hello? Oh wait, this is ores. Oh, darn it. Um... Let's see if we can just nab some of these ores. And a leech creeper. Okay. Weirdly specific, but okay. Oh. Nice of you all to be here. Uh, and another champion. I killed all the champions I need, thank you. But, okay. Hello. Goodbye. Can I just like steal a bunch of these? Okay. How many more? We need like 10 more ores. We should be able to steal those. I just need to find one I can pillar up to. Ah! Without them all falling on my head would be convenient. And without it stopping me from placing blocks would also be good. Uh, oh man, like six more. Um. Okay, my Volta is done. Let's just run. And if we happen to find a pylon, I will very gladly take that. But, yeah, Jesus. I also just need to make sure we actually find a hand in. So let's find one of those, because we have a minute left. There's a pylon. Yes, two bingos. Perfect. Now where is the hand in? Is it down here? Oh god. I thought there was one in basically every room. Maybe I'm mistaken. Let's try this next room. Hello? Is there a hand in somewhere? I should probably get some kiwis out. Come on. There's got to be a one around here somewhere, doesn't there? Ah, right there. Perfect. Ooh. Okay, and we did it. I'm just gonna steal some of these ores while I'm here, so why not? Ooh, okay. Two lines completed, and an awful lot more that we got closer. Oh, I think we were only missing like four boxes or something, but they were just very badly placed. But that was pretty good. We got 207 coin piles, 44 ores, and 117 chests with 413 mobs. And we completed two bingos, but god we got close. We just got so unlucky on those dungeons. If we just managed to find a single ornate dungeon, we probably could have got that one. But that was still very good. And despite not looting all that much, we got a decent amount of stuff, including a bunch of ores, putting us, I believe, one away. Yeah, we're one away from our Benny bounty, and actually also one away from our Tubbyum bounty, so that is very good. We also got over a thousand bronze, four mod boxes, and four gear pieces, including our guaranteed Omega magnet. And most importantly, we completed the vault, so we also get all of this. And from our jewels, I think we'll just be keeping this size 12, 3.5% copiously, plus some picking, which is very, very nice. And as for this gear, 
I think we'll just be keeping our Omega Magnet, which is very, very nice, although it would definitely need some adjustment, because I probably do still want to keep mining speed, but it is still definitely worth keeping hold of for when our magnet eventually breaks. And then we of course can't forget our two card packs, so let's start with the stat pack. We have plus 1% soul chance, plus 0.5% mana, or plus 1% mana regen. Ooh, I'm kind of drawn to the mana regen if I'm honest. That sounds quite useful. Yeah, let's get some extra mana regen. And as for our evolution booster pack, we have plus 0.25% soul chance for each green adjacent card, plus 0.25% copiously for each green rogue card, or plus one mining speed for each yellow adjacent evolution card. I feel like I have to go copiously on this. Greens in a row. Let's see what we can do with that. I think this might be our best bet. So we have our movement speed, which is perfectly using that entire row. We have this red in a column which works and then we have this green in a row as well and then this is working off those four cards which is at least something and then these are all just in on their own okay let's try this for now man these cards are definitely tricky i think i really want to try and find some more different sizes of deck because I feel like, depending on the cards you find, it's really going to change which deck is actually going to be the best size for you. But I think at the moment, this one should do the trick. And then, just before we finish for the day, I think it's probably about time we unlocked some new mods. I mean, we have six knowledge stars and over 1,000 500 knowledge shards so we should probably start making use of them and the main things i want to get are the altar automation because as much fun as it is throwing all the items in it would be nice if that was slightly more automated now we're starting to get 800 of an item on a regular basis and then I also want to get junk management because I really don't need to pick up all the stone and andesite and gravel in the vault and now our hammer is so big and fast we're really starting to rack up the amount of junk that's just eating away at my magnet durability. So I think for both of these we're going to need 48 knowledge stars. Perfect, and then let's unlock the altar automation and junk management. I honestly think both of these are going to be huge upgrades for us. I mean, altar automation is more likely just to make my life a little bit easier, but junk management should mean much less random stuff for us to deal with and hopefully less wear on our magnet, especially because I am currently considering running a mine room next episode, which would definitely take a pretty big chunk of my durability if I do as I hope and empty that entire room out. And honestly, that barely made a dent in the amount of knowledge shards we had. That used like 300 of them and we still have so so many more i don't even know which mods i'd unlock but i guess at this point i could just start unlocking all of them with the hope to eventually actually unlock absolutely all of them and unlock automatic genius but honestly i don't really know if you guys have any recommendations for mods that i really should be picking up then let me know because i just really don't know what i'd get next even things like easy piglins, I just can't think what they'd be able to give me that I don't currently get from anywhere else. So I'll leave it with these two for now, but my god, do we have so much more knowledge that we could use. And speaking of our new mods, I'm pretty sure both of them are going to need echo gems to make the various items but we currently only have two echo gems left because obviously we used an awful lot when making our new hammer. So I think it's probably time that we break down our final 10 echo ores and just see what we can get. But the real question is, how many gems are we going to get from 10 ores? I think I'm going to guess, hmm, maybe like, 22 which i think would be slightly above average but i'm allowed to be hopeful every now and then so uh well let's just see how we do 
It's zero on the first roll. We're going great. This is fortune. Yes, it is. We're doing great, guys. That's better. Three. Okay, that's slightly made up for it. Oh, good lord. Twenty-one. Okay, still slightly above average, but slightly below where I'd guessed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure 20, getting two from every ore would probably be about average, and we got quite a lot of zero rolls, so ending up with 21 was actually pretty good. And that means we now have 23 Echo Gems to our name, so hopefully that will be enough to make all the things that we need. Because I'm pretty sure for a bunch of these things... Yeah, so we need, if we want the teleport enhancement, we obviously need an echo pog. And then for the junk management table, we also need another echo pog. And we also need some if we want to do the junk upgrades. So I think that should hopefully have been enough to get us what we need. And in terms of our pogs, we have like 22 already made up. So that should be absolutely fine. But I don't think you guys need to watch me working out how these mods work and trying to set them up. So I'll try and get that sorted between episodes and next time you tune in, it should all be set up and working. Uh, hopefully. I've never actually seen either of these properly used before, but I don't think it should be that hard. Right? But with that being said, I had a lot of fun today. That bingo was very kind to us with some of the objectives, and while we only got two complete lines, we actually filled out quite a lot of the board, so I am very happy with that. And like I said, next time I am considering running a mine room inscription because we have one in our storage and it would be awesome to demolish that entire room with our new hammer, but we'll just have to see what happens. Until then, thank you guys for watching, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!